Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, everyone. My name is Cassie. And on Once Upon a Time in Springfield today, my dad and I will be talking about. Hey! Uh... Season 2, Episode 16. Bart's dog gets an F. Okay, Dad, start the intro. She's Cassie. My dad's like Homer because he always goes out and buys us donuts. He's Chris. Cassie used to be a lot like Maggie when she was a baby. She never gave up her pacifier. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a wonderful evening of theater and picking up after yourself. This is Once Upon a Time in Springfield, a Simpsons review show from the point of view of a dad and his daughter. From now on, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Here they are, Cassie and Chris. This week we watched Season 2, Episode 16, Bart's Dog Gets an F. In this episode, Bart's dog gets sent to obedience school after he destroys Homer's expensive sneakers. Right, they had his, he laid his name on them. Anyway, we'll get to that. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, Cassie, what was the chalkboard gag? The chalkboard gag was, I will not sell school property. Which didn't connect with this episode, I don't think, but... Not at all. <laughs> all right, Cassie, what was the couch gag? The couch gag was everyone sat down, including the cat and the dog. Snowball 2 and Santa's Little Helper. And Santa's Little Helper is the main part of this one. Yep, sure is. Let's get into it. <laughs> You're all nuts. All right, in the opening, uh, it's got a kid throwing a newspaper onto the porch and Homer going out and getting it. And then who comes out and ruins his day? The dog, Santa's Little Helper. Yeah, it comes out, rips a hole in the newspaper, and then tries More to get like his breakfast. More like tears a pee. Well, yeah, and then he's reading the newspaper with a big hole in it, and then he sees him trying to eat his breakfast, remember? Yeah, that was funny. That breakfast looked good. It did. It was so- sausage or mashed potatoes? Ooh, sausage and eggs. Really? Yeah, I don't think he eats mashed potatoes for breakfast. I mean, you he, do, he, but he's not. He's a person that would eat it. Maybe, it is I Homer. think it was gravy. It might have been gravy, mm-hmm. mashed potatoes, and sausage for breakfast. Hey, biscuits and gravy is probably what it was. Yeah. Why are we so hungry? Okay, let's get this over with some weight. <laughs> All right, so then one of the cool things about this show, and it starts right here in the scene, is that when Homer's yelling at the dog, it shows the dog's point of view. So the dog, all the dog hears is... No, no, he hears... Oh, you're going to do better? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, So then uh, now it cuts over to Lisa. She's sick and she's not going to school. Actually, she turns around after... Um, Marge says, it's a school day. Um, and she turns around, she's like, uh. She looks like her cheeks are swollen like a chipmunk. Yeah, that's what she, the, Marge says. Yep. She says, you're burning up and your cheeks are, are so swollen. I wonder if she has COVID. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so then Lisa's sick, staying home from school, and the dog's tearing up the backyard. Uh, and then gets loose when Bart tries to go to school. Well, when Bart goes to school. Yeah. What does Otto call him? Do you remember? Yes, he calls him Bart Dude. And then what does he call the dog? Fluffy thing. Something, something like that, like furry yeah. dude or something, right? Yeah. Like fluffy dude or something. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Uh, so uh, Bart goes to school, uh, and then Santa's little helper is running amok in town. Um, and then this is when Homer runs into Ned Flanders. And what do they talk about? They talk about Ned Flanders' new shoes. Which, <laughs> are, which is some ridiculous name, too, like the Terminator or whatever They were really something space. Yeah. Let me see if I can find that audio. <gasps> With assassins. Oh, you betcha. Uh, you know, they got the Velcro straps, a water Ooh. pump in the tongue, built-in Whoa. pedometer, reflective <gasps> sidewalls, and Whoa. little vanity license plates. Ooh, ooh. How much, how much, how much? So then Homer goes, I want those shoes. I want those shoes. After, like, going down to the floor and looking at them with his hands, knees. Like, yeah, yeah like, like Flanders is walking down the street and Homer lays on the ground to stare at his shoes. Pretty much. It's quite funny. I but, mean, after Flanders insults him by going... Oh, you're going for a walk? Good for you, bud. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Flanders is great. Uh, But no, he was just, uh, Homer was going to buy some magazines for Lisa um, because Lisa wasn't feeling good and she wanted to like teen, bop, teen, beat, teen, teen, teen. No, the only reason he was on a walk because an old lady called him. Oh, is this after he got the dog? Yeah. Ah, that's right. The dog escaped. He's bringing the dog back and that's when he runs into Flanders. 
Okay, now I'm caught up. All right, so Homer <laughs> goes and goes and buys some magazines for Lisa, comes home. After work. After work, and Lisa is working on the family quilt with Marge. And you know what's the creepy part about this part? Hmm. Marge pokes a, a needle. needle in her body. Actually, it just bends. In her finger, yeah. She says, this is a callous sewing finger or whatever she says. Yeah, um... And then, you know, of course, she has to burn her finger. Yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was a little drastic. It was with a Zippo, too, of all things. It's quite funny. You don't even know what that is. So then Homer's out there buying the magazines, and he runs across the shoes. Yes. How much were they? They were 125 Did he buy them? Yes. Did the dog eat them? Yes. Sweet, let's jump to the middle. <laughs> I like stories. Uh, this is where Homer's putting a bigger lock on the dog in the backyard now that it ate the shoes and told Bart to take him to school. Isn't that what they did? No, they said to oh, take no, him on. to obedient school. Yeah, well, that's school. It's obedient school, Dad. I'm going to obedience your face. I don't know what that what means. What does that mean? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, Dad, I think it's called a knuckle sandwich. Knuckle in sandwich. Your, in, in your lunch pail. Oh, well, that's what's... Luckily, the lunch pail's in the cabinet because you're not going to school. Uh, <laughs> so, so then uh, he uh, Bart take, starts taking Santa's little helper to obedience school, and Lisa's still helping to sew a quilt while she's watching soap operas with Marge. Quite inappropriate. It was. What happened? Tell me all about the inappropriate stuff, Cassie. Just kidding. <laughs> she, she pushed the mic away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then she's getting related to the soap operas, and then Bart comes back, uh, and his dog is not doing well in class. He's like the only dog not doing well. Actually, yeah, he was. He was. Only dog not doing well in class. And then uh, the dog comes back home after a day or two of class, and... The dog gets a hold of what first? The quilt. Yes. And that's when Homer goes up to Marge and is like, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's okay. And Marge is like, it was six generations of family members trying to put this quilt together. Don't be obsessed with the, my cookie. (laughs) Yes. And then Homer realizes that his cookie was eaten and he decides that the cookie is more important than a quilt. What's Homer do? Of course, he calls the first ever a um, family meeting. Mm-hmm. And Bart's like, we never have a family meeting before. Yeah, he does say that. And exact what's Homer saying? Words. He says, well, now there's time for a family meeting of a family member that can be given away. We never had a family meeting before. We never had a problem with a family member we can give away before. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Bart starts freaking out and fighting and saying, no, 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 I don't want to. And Lisa's like, I would have to say... That I would like to keep the dog. No, with her throat. Oh, yeah. I would like to say. (laughs) I would like to say. Way better. Baby Yoda. The one thing that surprised me in this scene (laughs) is that Marge did not agree with the kids. She said that she wanted to get rid of the dog. Yeah. I'm like. She agreed with Homer. Homer. I know. (laughs) What does Homer do? (laughs) He's like, ha, in your face. Even though Maggie also agreed with the kids. I know. All the kids against against one big old fat kid, Homer. Uh, so um, and Mark. the deal was if if Bart can get the dog to go to obedience school and listen to the, the commands, then Homer would keep the dog and not sell the dog. After they argued. Of course, they always argue. But let's but, keep it real. Yeah. Does the dog do well um, at the end? Kind of. Kind of, right? Yeah, the dog does all right. Bart gets him to listen. Homer says we're going to keep him. Wait. Oh, we need it till the ending. The ending is the saddest part. Oh. Let's keep. Okay. I was going to say, oh, let me let me see what they do with, with the quilt, though. What does Lisa do with the quilt now that it's all torn oh, yeah. up? Um, so she says the other quilt kind of like being chewed up by the dog. Yeah, it's like the first piece of the new quilt that they're going to start, and it's the dog. The dog chewing up a quilt. Yep. I, I don't know if that quilt's going to last very long. Maybe not. Not with that dog around. Mm-mm. At least they aren't passing the dog down generations. That'd be creepy. It would be. They would be dead and stuffed. Yeah. Maybe they could stuff it with the parts of the quilt that didn't chew it, get chewed up. Ew. <laughs> All right, so then they're at the end. At the very end, what's the saddest part? The saddest part is um, Lisa comes out after Bart is trying to train the dog. And Lisa's like, don't spend your last moments with the dog, like, training and hurting this dog. Spend your last moments with the dog having fun. So Lisa throws a ball doesn't go after you know i'm like the usual mm-hmm. and so bart gets the ball and shoves it in his mouth and they start flying they did frisbee even though it hit his eyes and like bounced off of mm-hmm. that doesn't make sense and then um homer was like if only you learned to sit but but in the dog's head it's like sit 
and he sits down. That's right. <gasps> that was really cool when he finally starts learning how to speak Oh my gosh, you're sad. Bart. <laughs> I mean, I, th- I think dogs speak human in their mind, but I think they speak only one or two humans. I don't think that they think that the language is the same across the platform. Wait, which, which two humans does Zoe hear? Me and probably... No, I think it's Mom and Juju. Me and Mom, probably. No, It's Mom about me, Juju. Cassie. It's not about you. Okay. Juju. Fine. What is, the, what, is the, what is the teacher call the dog at the end of the show? That's an inappropriate word. That it sure is. <laughs> I stand corrected. All right, Cassie, what's your favorite part of the show? My favorite part of the show was when um, Lisa got confused. Bart, like, Bart was like, "Hey, she's faking it." Then, if Lisa's not going to school, then I'm not going to school. And then Lisa was like, "If he, if Bart's not going to school, I'm, I'm going to school." <laughs> <laughs> right. And then Homer got all. Con- I mean, Bart. I meant to say Bart that whole time. And then Bart got all confused. Like, so wait, if then I'm staying home, but then she's going. School. To school, but she has to stay home. And Bart was confused. And I have to go to school. I'm actually confused at what you're talking about right now. It, no, literally, that's what he said. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite part of the show is when Dr. Hibbert is talking to Marge. And it's so funny because it's before like the office is open, and Doctor Hibbert goes, "How'd you get my phone number?" And it was on Mar, it was on Marge, and then it cuts over to Doctor Hibbert is sitting down, and he goes, huh, "How clever!" So we never hear what Marge says or how she got his home number. So I'm curious to see if that ever pops up. Maybe not. Maybe. Deep, deep trouble. All right, uh, characters introduced uh, in this episode uh, was the dog teacher that called the dog a. And uh, who's your favorite character, Cassie? My favorite character is Lisa. Why? Because she looks like a chipmunk? No, because she was a big part of this one. Was and she? also the only time she got dressed was when she was telling Bart to um, spend the last moments. Well, she also burnt her finger and poked it with a needle. No, she didn't burn her finger. She just poked it with a needle. I know, but I was assuming she burnt it. She didn't. Okay, she didn't. Okay. All right, my favorite character <laughs> was Marge when she was showing Lisa how to sew and she was poking her finger. That's like my favorite part. <laughs> Me fail English? Impossible. All right, Cassie, what's the takeaway? The takeaway is be responsible of your dog. Yeah, be responsible for your dog, for sure. Especially if they poop in someone else's yard. Of course not. Uh, I've got something I'd like to say. All right, Cassie, what are we rating this one? We are rating this one... Eight and a half pieces of kibble. Kibble? Kibble. In bits, in bits, in bits. Remember the kibbles and bits commercials? It better be bits. Kibbles and no. bits and okay. bits and bits. Um, most people don't. <laughs> All right, it's a good one. I All remember that. the Got Milk commercial. Embo. Embo. Got Milk. All right, say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. I feel that way too. That's the end of the show, everyone. I hope you like the show as much as Maggie likes her pacifier. Or Homer likes his beer. Make sure you rate, review, and subscribe. Go to thisisfunner.com to check out some really cool shows. And please, share it with a friend. <sighs> Everything really wrapped up nicely. Thank you all for listening to Once Upon a Time in Springfield. Please go to thisisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. And don't forget to rate, review, and share the show with a friend. Ugly Dougly done. This is fun. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.